Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, hope everyone's well. Hi, we're back. More Lego, more work on this farm, which really doesn't seem to be evolving much, but it is. It is. I'm just um, changing a few things before we progress on any further. So, as you join me now, um, it is the afternoon. Um, the plan was to literally build the roof for this today uh, and then do some other bits and pieces. Well, it didn't quite go that way. Hasn't quite gone that way. Um, as you can see, what's happened is I've took it apart again. <laughs> the reason I took it apart again, bear with me. The reason I took it apart again is after I rebuilt this hinge here, which hopefully is um, viewable on the side camera, this is the hinge here. Um, once I, once I've built that, I thought, yeah, I like that idea. Uh, but then I was doing the roof, and then I'm like, ooh, what about if we did all the hinges like that? So that's where you join me. Um, literally redesigned these hinges. Uh, the doors are all remade. They're all remade. They're all done. Um, gone from three, gone from three L to four L. So I've got the um, slightly larger um, bar pieces. Makes life a little easier. So that's the plan. Um, and yeah, we're going to quickly say quickly. We're going to redo these hinges, um, and then once we've done that, hang the doors, put the roof on, and then move on to a few other bits and pieces. Um, so yeah, let's crack into a bit of a montage, get these things built, and then have a chat whilst we do the roof about the rest of the project. So be back for a chat. In a few. <laughs>
we feel the eyes But everything will be alright Let's pretend we all race highways All the miles and risks that we take We own the road and we own the sky On the edge we're so alive Thanks for your patience. Hope you enjoyed that little bit of a build montage and the music. Um, you kind of see that it, yeah, it is a very simply designed the barn, um, as are the rest of the buildings I'm currently creating for this project. It is Minecraft inspired, so everything to be very blocky. It's not all detail orientated like a lot of other things that are out there. I have built detail orientated. I know how to do that, and I like that very much. I want to do that on this, but then I keep reminding myself it's Minecraft, Matt. We can't do that. We can't. So, anyway, um, she's been redesigned again. The hinges are now incorporated into the walls rather than being standalone pieces. Um, so you can see from the montage how much of the barn had to come apart to do it. it. Like I say, it's a very simplistic thing, but you do have to tear it quite down to get everything um, situated back in again. But anyway, that's done. Now we're going to do with the roof. We're not going to do the roof like we've got on the house there. Uh, that roof is used on the house and is also used on the bungalow. I'm going to return, because I've got plenty of brick now, I'm going to return to a design I originally used on the vicarage. Um, if you don't know what the vicarage is, um, I will post a picture here. A picture on the screen for you to look at. Um, that's the original building I started off. Uh, that's original that's the back at the beginning of the playlist for this uh, this project so feel free to check it out feel free to check it out so what we're going to do is i'm going to break out some light tan um board we're going to use some dark tan masonry because it, it's just look it's a lovely texture it looks almost like caramac now if you're like me and you're old enough to remember caramac um you'll remember that taste oh my god what a taste that stuff was amazing. I haven't found it. I haven't seen a Caramac bar in close to... Oh, it's got to be 15 years? It's just wow. Anyway, I haven't seen one for a long time. If anybody knows how to get one, drop it in the comment section below. I will forever, forever uh, uh, be in your debt. I just, I really want one. Anyway, I've got some reddish brown for the roof, obviously. So we're going to try and bodge this together. I'm going to build it here. Um, off building, I'm just going to literally put it together here and then kind of go from there. So, first things first, uh, we're going to get out a 16 by 16 board obviously for this end, and we're going to put the ladder that goes up into the hair lock because there's going to be a hair lock that, that's going to be at this end. So, I've reached first of all, I'm going to start with the board like that. All right, simple, simple. We'll build around that and we'll go from there. Um, then the rest of it is going to be a bit of a bodge, um, trying to bodge it together, a bit of a bodge it and scarf sort of thing, uh, like I've done in the past. Just trying to work out how um, and where, because I've got. To, I'm going to put in a roof hatch for the ladder that comes up, so that's going to be have to work out how to um, put that in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go put together this L piece like that. Line that up just like that. So obviously we we'll put this together, board across there and there. That holds that together. And then we're going to formulate eventually we'll piece together this portion. We'll have to leave a hole in the middle. So that's going to be a bit of a, a, bit of a fun task. Um, but I do like a bit of a challenge. It, it, it makes life a little interesting. It makes life a little interesting. Now, some of you will say, Matt, you've way over-engineered this thing. But hey, what can I say? I am actually an engineer. Um, and used to do this sort of thing for a living. So, initially, pieces go on. Just like so. Um, these are just initial strengthening pieces. Nothing more. Like that. So that will then hold it together nicely while we work on it. So the plan is that to go on like that. Alright. 
Uh, that's not going to work because we've got a, oh ah okay okie dokie so what's that one two three four so that's an eight by eight so an eight by eight won't work so pop that piece on as always i'll show you everything that happens on these i don't hide it away i don't shy away from making mistakes the joy like goes you make mistakes you learn from it you carry on like everything that goes like that now that will work nicely actually because if i put a piece of here across there right okay so we'll, we will come back to that uh we will come back to that right now let's work on this piece and then i'll work on that piece after so got our piece no 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 we'll start with the tab first Because this is a 16 by 16 it doesn't matter which side you use it you start on or how you hold it it's it's equal size all the way around so that doesn't really matter too much that's what you start off with all right nice and simple start off with that now there's two ways I can go now one um, idea I've currently got now is to pull this back off again it now it's one piece and put reddish brown across the bottom um, but the other side of me is like mm, I don't know the other path to do is just to carry on which would then me put a tile over the top of this so nothing attaches to it the roof of this can come off as well like all the like all the buildings they all do come apart so what should i do so we're going to keep going it looks all right it looks all right so we're going to keep on going so give me a moment i need to grab some tiles um see if we've got enough tile to do this one moment right then so we've got some 1v1 reddish brown um, this stuff will be um, of great help, great help uh, in uh, piecing this together. That basically means that the roof um, of the barn will come off, and then the floors will also come off on, uh, beyond that. That's the way I built all my buildings. They all come apart, um, even the large. Um, village rest stop stroke guest house um i think it, yeah yeah it's a guest house isn't it yeah um that's sat over there off camera um sarah's currently fitting out the inside of the building um i am going to at some point put a camera on that desk I do have a camera ready we're going to fit a camera over there so that we can record her putting the um, furniture in the buildings together um, she's not an interior designer or anything but she does a epic job of putting things together to be honest she does a great job things look great
So that sits there something like that. Now comes the next dilemma of the design. Do I keep it like that and just run reddish brick down here? Uh, because at this point the reddish brick is actually going to be held up by one. So my thinking now is to run tan down here and here uh, to support it. So again, that's what we're going to do. As always, I am taking you through every step of the design. It's not been, oh look, here's some I made earlier sort of thing. My videos are quite long, they're heavily edited, I'm trying to make it as best of content as I possibly can for you. So that kind of goes together like that. So now we need to grab some longer tile. To fit along there like so. Mm -hmm. Alright, that sits on there like that, that will then sit on there like so, looking good so far. Next we're going to build the portions of the roof. very very delicate um, they will come apart at literally the slightest sniff um, of a breath they will come apart it's quite fiddly a lot of you will know so keep plugging along um, as always this is just a proof of concept this will probably change um hopefully i can get this to play nicely and then we can just strengthen it up and go from there so first bit so rather than just going straight on the edge like that um i like to overhang it slightly this gives it a bit more of an aesthetic feel that's actually going to work so give me a couple of minutes we'll get that thing built and i'll be uh, right back with you hello folks so we're back of course we are i'm chatting with you yeah yeah anyway we're back um so uh this is the roof as it was before or the, the structure of the upper hair loft as it was before this you know its delicacy is the roof that's going to be sitting on top of this now it sits on it's a bit finagly because of its design but you kind of slot it on and then slide it over like that okay there's a piece um, on the underside as you can see which holds the two halves together there will be uh, reinforcing pieces in here but it kind of just slots onto there like so that sits on there like that now it's a bit longer than it actually needs to be obviously because we've got the second half of the roof to build which is going to go here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go away work on the whole hatchway here making that work and then we'll do the rest of the roof and um i'll show you how i came about the idea for the hatch and the ladder in the next episode because this episode has been long enough as it is thanks for watching Hope it was enjoying this build. We are going to get to more interesting stuff soon. I promise. Um, we've still got cathedrals, churches, castles and all sorts to build.
you know everything that's in this picture you can see now i am making all of it including the terrain all of it to scale so thanks for watching as always i am mr ponzi aka matt check me out on the socials if you want to behind the scenes of what's happening between episodes or if you want to just drop by and say hi any questions anything you want to know drop me a comment i would love to read them thanks for watching may the ponzi be with you all peace be with you sleep well have fun enjoy yourself look after each other in these mad times and enjoy the happy beginnings of 2022 so far it's not been too bad see you all soon Ta -da. <laughs> this thing's gonna be huge when it's finished Mental.